We are in. And welcome, guys, to the Dawn Hunter 2, our new amazing boat project. Well, next question is from Rob. Good cliffhanger, what's next? The what's cliffhanger next? is about our off-grid shower video where we say we are living in Bahamas. Why are we living in Bahamas, William? We have sold our boat, Dawn Hunter. What? Yeah. Oh no, guys, we sold the boat. We turned around to bring it back so that it could meet the new owner. And we are about to go on another boating adventure. Five years of work and collecting all the stuff all possible tool imaginable and now we're only taking this what 10 boxes the essentials because this boat and what we have is custom 24 volt strange things so our buddy will get that along with this fat girl and we're taking this little skinny girl <laughs> onto a much fatter vessel Case has arrived. Coffin. Coffin <laughs> for all of our dead boat stuff. <laughs> yep. And we got the marina to help us out to put it behind so we can start filling it up daily. Every person on this boat has limited space in that crate. And guess what? William is getting no space at all. Every night I have to go around and take her stuff that she packs and then I have to sneak, remove it and give it away because this woman doesn't want to give away one shoe. Because they're all needed. While somebody is still trying to pack all the goodies from this boat to the new one, <laughs> I'm trying to find our accommodations here. And the interesting part here is that it actually varies anywhere from $35 a night to $5,400 a night. William, which one should I book? $35 a night or $5,400 a night? We've got a tent. Who needs accommodations? We spent the night on the beach. All we need is palm leaves. Ah, oh, we just stone there. What kind of view is that? <laughs> exactly. First time since buying this boat, other than Yana, somebody else is actually at the wheel, running the helm, running the autopilot, and I'm about ready to pop a beer because this is like, goodbye old girl, treated us well, and on to the next adventure. Oh, and I forgot, this girl treated us well, but she's going <laughs> with us the on the next adventure. <laughs> so, Steve, how the boat is treating you? The boat feels great. I could not be happier. Well, yes. I'm sure the Dawn Hunter are gonna treat you well. What more can you ask? What about you, are you feeling sad? I'm a reporter today. Uh, memories. Memories down the water, down the drain. <sighs> yes. Time to anchor my area of expertise. <laughs> First off, let's remove this. Yep, good. We want to check if the windlass is working. So you need to do this. Oh. That turns it on. Okay, well, so it's working. Ready for the anchor? So, how does it feel to be 67 years old and losing your virginity? Great! <laughs> <laughs> sticking an anchor in the sand is almost as good as sticking other things. That's a man thing. Good job, Steve. We met this guy on YouTube years ago. Quite a while ago. He told us about his dream. We told him the dream we had. And here we are. What? The dream. Three years later? I forget how many years. Um, it's about three years. Don't give up. Дорогие друзья, сегодня мы будем говорить о замечательном приложении Rosetta Stone. 
ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about an amazing app called Rosetta Stone that is the sponsor of our video. Our last coffee in the Bahamas. I actually started my language learning journey a while ago. I need to enhance my English without a lot of effort and time. The Rosetta Stone app actually allowed me to learn English on the go. Since we started traveling extensively on the boat, I've realized the importance of English language. My accent a lot of times is not understandable. One of my favorite features of Rosetta Stone app is actually called Phrasebook. That's where you can hear native speaker talking and you you can repeat over them by yourself. Let's try it out. Good morning. Good morning. It actually shows to you if you pronounce this correctly. And the best part of this is that you can actually use this app offline because the connection here sometimes is not great. Rosetta Stone actually helps you to build your own language study plan depending on your purpose. For instance, mine is travel and so this is what I have. Get Rosetta Stone app with a special 50% discount by using my link below in the description box or in the pinned comment. Personally, I think Everybody should get a lifetime subscription. A, you get access to all the languages. B, you never have to pay again. C, learning language takes a lot of time. So in your busy day, you can revisit your language lessons anytime. With my attention span, this app is truly perfect because it only takes like about 10 minutes a day. The last sit down before the flight. Don't fill your boat full of stuff you don't need. <laughs> yep. Take your wife. Take your life and maybe one packing scrap. <laughs> They're getting overloaded. Off we go. Goodbye, Don Hunter. Uh, for another day, another day, and another day. How is that amazing counter shading that you were bragging about working out for you? Throwing out a muffler. No, I just don't want it. I don't know. Oh, I think I pulled my back. Oh no! <laughs> it's a horrible storm! <laughs> I think we're like in about two foot of water because the bottom of the crop was hitting sand. Coming up to a great big bunch of coral and white gaps all around us. Don Hunter Dingy is here. I don't believe it. You actually uh, turned the radio on? Yeah, some people learn, you know? My major takeaway from this lifestyle is don't wait. There's a million excuses. Only 1% of the people that want to do this actually do it. And I can't see any legitimate excuse for them not doing it. We have so many bags and we suspect that some of them are overweight. So we're hoping that it's going to be fine, but we're not sure. Cooling up in there? Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> I've learned a long time ago, if there are three men around, just sit back and relax. When did you learn that? When you were born? Yes. Now, the next step. Can we get our baggage through here with 10,000 boat parts? <laughs> Don't forget your panties, they're heavy. Said I'm making a statement without making one. Done with one flight, on to the next one. Wanna go play? Flight number two. <laughs> just accomplished eight hours again we're running running because we have only one hour in between connections and we are not even sure that they're gonna be on time to get our luggage well we got all the bags except one the baggage carousel has exploded from the overweight probably from our bags yes and the one bag 
that got is missing is obviously the starling. The, one, the starling, the one that William really needs for work. So let's see if the little guys are going to be dragging it up the elevator by hand. Anyways, <laughs> flights are over. Now made it through immigration. Got our stamp. Yay! We are officially like past the first step. Now we have to get past the people that check your bags. Three flights, eight hours each, we are finally in a van and we are about to go on another 12 hour journey to actually arrive at our final destination. Can you guys at this point guess where we're going or not? You know, after spending years on a boat going very slow and not having any real plan, the last 55 hours has been run, race, jump, twist, shout, with all kinds of schedules to make. But now I know why we love off-grid. William is having his first meal. Good? <laughs> I, I, I think it's horrible. He can't stop even to talk. It's delicious. Whatever this country is, I think we're staying here for long because of the food. This is really good. Okay guys, you, you just gotta see this. So that's a normal toilet. And the next toilet is a mini toilet for little kids. I've never seen this in my life. We stopped at the gas station to go to the bathroom and to eat something. Okay, my friends, this, this toilet experience just gets better and better. I had to like stand here for couple of minutes thinking what I'm supposed to do here. There are also no toilet paper, so I'm a little lost. Getting all the treats right away. And look at this little thing. That's so very good. We are on this back trail that someone told us we could take to get to another location because... Jana booked Airbnb and it was in the wrong marina. So the person with a little bit of English said go this way and go that way and go this way and that's where we're going. That's where we're going. I'm not even joking. There are cobras here and other very venomous snakes. Not even to mention spiders and centipedes. I think the most dangerous thing is your husband. I like that self-confidence. Oh my god! <laughs> what? There is just like a huge tail like like this went in the bush. It looked like a crocodile tail. There's no crocodiles here. I know but what was it then? What what did it look like? Freaking big long tail like that. It looked like iguana but it wasn't iguana it was too big. They have monitors. Monitors? Computer monitors? <laughs> They're called monitors, they're like dragons here. I don't want to see the full size of that thing. It's amazing is that this is like a prehistoric land where nothing really has touched it. It's thick jungle. And then just a road and a couple of farmers. I'm also trying to keep my appendages uh, up top because I've read that snakes mostly bite legs and arms. I'm keeping my appendages out so the snakes can come to me. <laughs> Bait! Here she is, the beauty. What more could you ask for other than steel? Look at the size of this keel and this prop. This is gonna be at least five years. <laughs> we are in Thailand. And welcome guys to the Dawn Hunter 2, our new amazing 
boat project. But seriously, this is our new boat. Oh. New home for now. We have been asked to take a Fontaine Peugeot luxury cat and convert it into an off-grid vessel for traveling all over Asia. We said, yes. <laughs> so goodbye to our steel boat, goodbye to the Bahamas. We are in the land of very strange things. The land of jungle, snakes, spiders, and amazing fruits, vegetables, and people. <laughs> and a 50-foot Fontaine Peugeot Saba. It's not steel. It's not metal. We're going to do a proper boat tour in one of the next videos. Uh, we're meeting with contractors. We're getting the lay of the land. Airbnb is way on the other side, so we have to hike here. Starting to spec things out. And then, most importantly, some of our things got lost. The most important, our Starlink yeah. is lost. We still haven't found it. Uh, our gear. Thank goodness I packed the Victron stuff as carry-on. Or that would be gone also yeah welcome aboard to dawn hunter 2 <laughs> test name right yeah <laughs> dawn hunter something like that yeah <laughs> for the next year we are going to be all over asia testing and filming off grid with <laughs> comfort off grid with comfort in a strange new place i feel like we're on a cruise line yeah it's very different it's very spacious and it's just so so strange to be on this boat compared to Don Hunter yeah it's light it's bright everything's new no wood everything works <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be doing probably gonna be making messes and Yana has a galley that she could feed a family of ten. Five bathrooms, five! So we're gonna shut all four off so we only have to clean one. <laughs>